So here is a case. To try to uh, understand how the birth weight, the birth weight of infants is uh, getting uh, impacted by some of the predictors like gender, uh, marital status of the mother, and the smoking status, whether uh, the mother smokes or not. Now, in order to model um, that relationship, we use a linear regression. So the linear regression looks like this. Okay, weight is a function of gender, smoking, uh, and marital. Well, can this model explain certain aspect about this relationship? So what if we ask this question? Does gender affects differently lower weights and high weights? Lower weights and for the higher weights, that means for the lower percentile in the population and in the higher percentile of the population, how does gender affect? Does it affect differently? Does the beta, beta 1 value takes a different value for lower percentile of the population and higher percentile of the population. In linear regression, that cannot be explained because beta 1 is always a constant in linear regression, right? So this is constant. All right. So quantile regression is, is a kind of model which models the uh, conditional quantiles of the uh, dependent variable. So how is it different from the ordinary least square based regression model? The ordinary least square based regression model or the OLS regression model models for the conditional mean. So what we find out in OLS is that we try and out the mean of y given the x variables, right? And the beta. Quantile regression, we just replace that with median. Re replace that with quantiles. Okay, y quantile okay given the xi values okay or the predictors or the cofactors right and quantiles can be any number of quantiles it could be uh, the, the uh, first quantile the fifth quantile 10th quantile 25th 50th 90s so you can have multiple regression models for the same data whereas when you take the average you just have one average Right? But quantiles could be many. Okay. So here is an example. Okay. We are plotting the body mass index, BMI. Okay, so that, so in the initial years, it, it uh, improves or that just steeper increase in the body mass index. And then it stabilizes. There is hardly an increase. And then when somebody gets old, the body mass index comes down further. This particular period and this particular period. Okay, so the, the initial year and the end years okay uh, how how does it affect in the uh, when somebody is a child and growing up till teenage and how is it affecting after six, age of 60 when somebody uh, is old okay the middle years are of less importance rate of change of bmi with respect to rate of change of the age is different right it's different sometimes it's steeper sometimes it's less steeper and and so on uh, same with the the uh, higher quantiles, right? It could change, right? So in this situation, the quantile regression is more suitable than the normal linear regression. So let's learn a bit about the theory of quantile regression and try to compare the OLS with the quantile regression. So what happens in OLS? We minimize the error, sum of square, okay? And we find the optimal value of beta naught and beta one, which minimizes the error square right some of the error square what happens in least absolute deviation equation we replace the square with the modulus okay and rest is same quantile regression is an extension of the lad with bit of a change with that so we introduce a penalty term q uh, the idea in quantile regression is not to find the uh, conditional mean of the dependent variable. It is the conditional quantile. The penalty factor penalizes for under prediction and it also penalizes for over prediction, right? So that it stabilizes uh, for that particular uh, quantile. So this is more elaborate. So we minimize this particular function, the entire the thing. So, uh, to find out the beta naught and beta 1, okay, we have the penalty term, we have the error, so this is the error term, 
uh, this is also error term in this case and this is a penalty term so this Q is is the penalty term let's say it is used for penalizing for 25th percentile so 1 minus Q would penalize for the rest part okay so if it is 25 the rest part will be the uh, 75 percentile in the other side one can uh, estimate the coefficient uh, for quantile degradation by using the linear programming. All right. So how do we interpret the coefficient that comes out from the quantile degradation? That's important to learn here. Okay. It's very similar to what we do in ordinary degradation. Marginal effect is interpreted similarly. That means uh, if beta value or beta one is let's say 0.3 then we say that okay the dependent variable goes up, goes up by 0.3 every time uh, this uh, this particular variable uh, goes up by 1 given uh, other variables are constant however uh, quantile regression behaves differently because it has different estimates for different quantiles and you can have as many quantiles you want so you wanted to find out uh, the infant weight uh, which is a factor of uh, you know, which is which a function of uh, uh, somebody is married, uh, sorry, uh, whether the mother is married, uh, whether it's a boy kid or it's a girl kid, and whether the mother is smoking. Okay, so these are the predictors for uh, weight of the infant. Okay, in the linear regression, it predicts that the intercept is 3400. If somebody is married, then the uh, weight of the baby goes up by. 161 okay or oh, that's the difference right? um, on an average the weight of uh, weight of a kid or an infant um, born to a, ma a married woman uh, compared to the unmarried woman the difference of weight is 161 similarly uh, the average or an average if it if is a boy then uh, the infant weight is 111 more than the girl and if the mother is smoking uh, on an average 89 um, units okay uh, it may not be in kg 89 units less than if, if the mother is not smoking let's compare what happens in the fifth quantile if you look at the fifth quantile child uh, the difference in the weight uh, between these two category is 200 that means the linear regression in this case is underestimating okay if you go to 10th uh, percentile it's very similar but again it's underestimating it's 161 here it is 181 the fifth quantile it's 200 for the 50th quantile it's 120 the difference is 120 that means the linear regression is overestimating and similarly for 95th quantile it's 80 which is again the linear regression is overestimating for 95th quantile if you go to the next predictor uh, whether he's a boy or a girl for the fifth quantile, it's underestimating, whereas for the 95th quantile, the linear regression is overestimating. So that underestimation and overestimation for different quantile is an issue with linear regression. And if the extreme quantiles or the given quantiles are of interest to the researcher, linear regression is not a suitable. What are the advantages of using quantile regression over linear regression? Uh, the first one is it robust to the outliers okay unlike linear regression which get badly affected by outliers quantile regression estimates are more robust uh, or the coefficients are more robust to the outliers to have uh, you know not so good data uh, which doesn't fit your distributional assumptions uh, like normal distribution and all in linear regression quantile uh, regression gives a better fit okay and there, because there is a, a flexible distributional assumption in the case of quantile regression. If your data is heterogeneous or some sort of heteroscedasticity is present in your data, quantile regression gives uh, better results. 